uh, eu preparei um exercício para vocês, ok? I prepared an exercise and I want to, to see if you have a good memory. Vamos ver se vocês têm uma boa memória. Marque a alternativa com o uso do prefixo de forma correta. So you're going to use uh, the best prefixes uh, for these words. So the first one, amor, is a noun, love, ok? Love. So if I want to give a negative idea for the word amor, so uh, what is the best answer? Desamor or inamor? Think a little about this. So, if you chose desamor, you are right. Letter B, entender. Entender is a verb. Understand? So, would you say desentender or desentender? Both give a negative idea, but one is the best option. Let's think about it. So, if you chose desentender, is the best option. Good for you? Okay. Vamos continuar, pessoal? Letter C, útil, useful. Uh, so, would you say desútil or inútil? Think about this. Difficult? No, it's very easy. So, if you chose inútil, you are right. But don't panic, because you can uh, look up in the dictionary if you have some doubts, okay? Now, letter D, leal, loyal. So, we would you say desleal or ileal? Think about this. Ready? So, if you chose desleal, okay, is the correct form. Proprio, proper. So, would you say improprio or improprio? There is a little difference between them. Think about this. Okay? So, if you chose impróprio, it's the correct way because before P, we use M. We don't use N. Remember? Lembram? Okay, good. Let's continue. Vamos continuar, hein? Letter F. Seguro. Would you say safe? Would you say inseguro or inseguro? Huh? Think. So, if you chose inseguro, that's the correct because we have S, okay? And we don't have P or M, so we use in, not M. Okay? Good. Letter G, certo, okay, certain. We use incerto or incerto, okay? Both have a negative idea, but what's the best option? Think. So, if you chose, uh-uh, if you chose incerto, that's right, because here we have C. So, N, N is the best answer. Okay, so we have seen uh, the negative idea of 